Upgrading system memory used to be an intimidating process. Thankfully, with all the tools we have available at our fingertips these days, it's not really that complicated. But it is important for me to note that hard drive space is not the same as memory or random access memory that you install on your machine. It's a common misconception. You'll see here on my screen that I have 4.35 gigabytes free of 24.6 gigabytes hard drive space, but when I'm increasing my memory, I'm actually increasing operating random access memory on my system to greatly improve the amount of programs that can actually be used simultaneously within the Windows 8 system. To see how much memory I have, I'm actually going to bring up my Windows 8 Metro UI. So I'm going to bring my mouse to the top right hand corner to bring up my start menu, and I'm going to select the start menu button. Now on the Metro UI, it does have a quick search function that I'm going to use, and I'm going to type in MS info 32 You'll notice that on the right hand side under apps we get one result and if I scroll to the left hand side what I'm interested in selecting is this MS Info 32 application. Once the application is opened I can actually look right on the right hand side and I can see a lot of information on my Windows 8 system. It actually tells me everything related to my OS all the way down to some hardware specifics. I'm interested mostly in the installed physical memory or RAM, which at this current time on my virtual machine has 2.00 gigabytes, which isn't recommended for a Windows 8 operating system. Once we've discovered we don't have enough memory for Windows, then we can look into upgrading our system memory using a free tool called Corsair Memory Finder. There are a number of ways you can get to the Corsair Memory Finder. The first and easiest way is through Google, but if you don't want to use Google, you can use my website because I keep this tool and many other tools in my free download section. That's at PCMTechHelp.com. If you highlight the free download section, you can scroll down to the Networking and Admin section, and then go to Windows Tools, and then you're looking for Memory Finder. That will actually bring you to the Corsair Memory Finder. Now once you've loaded the Corsair Memory Finder, the rest of the steps are pretty simple. You have to select your system type, whether you have a desktop or laptop, a server, or just a straight motherboard, which is for custom-built PCs. Most people will fall into the first section for desktops and laptops. If you have questions on locating the part number or model number of your motherboard, make sure you check out our community at pcmtechhelp.com forward slash community where we can help you identify what the model number on your board is and then hopefully locate some memory for your system. But for desktops and laptops, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then it gives me the option to select the manufacturer. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and select Dell and because I'm going to use this as an example for our current system. Third, I can select the model of my Dell. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the Latitude series, which I do actually have a Latitude laptop that I'm looking for memory for. I'm going to select the Latitude E5510. Corsair is immediately going to show you some memory that's compatible with your system that's Corsair brand. Now if you don't want to purchase it at their list price for $39.99, you could always just take their part number and look for it for alternate pricing. But if you want to shop around, you need to know three specific things about your system. You have to know the speed of your memory. In my case, it's 1333 megahertz, which is an important number to remember. You have to know the type of memory. Mine is also DDR3, very important factor to know. And then lastly, you should probably know the maximum memory allowable in your system, because you don't want to buy more memory than your system can handle. We can take this information and we can actually bring it to an alternative website. My preference is newegg.com and we can begin to do our research there. If you don't want to take those additional steps, Corsair does guarantee that this memory is compatible with your system if you purchase it straight through their website. Now that I have the speed, size, and max, I'm going to bring up Newegg.com so that I can actually search for some memory and get some pricing options, as well as reviews of memory that people have used before. On the top left hand corner, I'm interested in selecting computer hardware, and then I'm going to go to the section called memory. Once memory comes up, I can select from the left hand side what type of memory I'm looking for. Well, since this is a laptop that I'm upgrading, I'm going to go ahead and select laptop memory. But notice that most people will be actually using desktop or laptop, but there's also a number of options you can have as well. I'm going to select laptop, and then on the left hand side, you'll see something that's actually very similar. First thing I'm going to select is my type. Mine was DDR3, so I'm going to select 204 pin DDR3, so dim. Next, I'm going to select the capacity that I'm looking for. Since mine had a maximum of 8 gigabytes of memory, and I know I have two slots in my computer, I'm going to select 2 times 4 gigabytes so I can put the maximum allowable memory in my system. 
And third, most important, I can actually select the speed that I want my memory to be. On the left hand side, notice that it was 1333 megahertz. I've got two options here. I've got 10600, 1333, and 10666. Both of these will actually work in my system. They're just slight variations in speed. I'm going to use, select the one that has the most results so that I can see the most pricing options that I have. Now that I have a list of all my compatible memory, I'm going to go to the top right hand corner here and I'm going to select sort by. And I'm going to sort by the best rating. Now I can see right at the top that I can get 2 times 4 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes total of my memory on the right hand side for only $65, which is a great deal. I can also select this nice little review here and I can actually read user reviews on this memory to see how it worked out for them. 695 people said it gets 5 out of 5 eggs, which is a new egg branding, but it's basically 5 out of 5 stars. So this would actually be the memory I would probably select for my system. After you've purchased and received your RAM, installation is actually very simple. It only fits in the slot that's on your system in one way. So it's just a matter of taking off the side panel of your chassis or opening up the bottom panel of your laptop and sliding the memory right into the unit. Of course you want to make sure that you take off the power and you also remove the battery before doing any installation. So that's all there is to installing brand new memory and purchasing upgrades of memory for your Windows 8 operating system.